What's up guys, I'm Shane. Welcome to our North Texas Dynasty. <laughs> Full disclosure, I've already tried to record this once, but I screwed up the audio. I was gonna do UTEP because I feel like they're the most incompetent consistently of all these schools, but one of my good friends is a North Texas alum, and I feel like their feelings would be hurt if I didn't play as North Texas. Ignore the name Derek Carrot. that is definitely not a facsimile lame, just to avoid any sort of, I don't know, legal ramifications that could come up down the road. Now, I'm using literally the latest rosters. They're not done yet, so a couple of the schools are going to be a little bit screwy. I think there's a handful of teams where the graduating seniors got turned back into freshmen. Their last names were all X'd out. So you just sort of have these, like, 95 overall freshmen sitting on, like, teams like Buffalo. So if they become a powerhouse, that, that's why. I modified the North Texas roster a little bit because apparently what happened with some of these schools is they just sort of figured, had an overall on these teams that they had in mind and they basically just went through any players that were above that so for instance mason fine is the quarterback for north texas last year's roster he was an 87 overall junior this year he was only an 80 and they just sort of took his speed and cranked it all the way down to like 65 i just sort of went through made a few adjustments just to the speed i didn't go crazy on anything but like i should not have a speed back who's an 80 overall with a speed of 79 that just didn't seem right. So I put him up to like a 90. No one else really went above an 85. We are playing on All-American difficulty because I suck at this game right now. All the sliders are at 50. I went through and realigned all the conferences to sort of as close to I could with what they are now. Obviously, there's like four or five teams that just I can't get in the game. I did kick out Idaho since they are no longer an FBS school. I replaced them with Appalachian State. This isn't meant to be the most difficult challenge that you can do. And the reason I'm not doing a team builder dynasty is obviously team builder's not really working. So I do have a single team builder team that I did make. I'm saving them for a little bit further down the road until I know exactly what I'm gonna do. And maybe at some point team builder will go back up and I can get a couple more teams. I was tempted when I was recording before to actually keep it and push through. The audio was just way too bad. Even I didn't know what I was saying half the time. I was gonna put subtitles on the bottom. But you heard a lot of stuff like this. All right, I'll set up my recruiting board real quick. I'm going to flip through. I'm going to add some prospects who want to come here. I'm going to grab some five-star guys, throw them on my board. Maybe I'll get some kind of jump on them. But as you, like, I'm looking at the top ten, and there's four guys who have already locked us out. I haven't even tried anything yet. All right, so I've got my initial board down. Nothing too crazy here. I just went through scouted some of these guys. I do usually throw some lower 60 guys on here, hoping that I find some gems. Say he was a 57, went to a 61, so not terrible. I'm on the top of their board. He went up to a 67. And a lot of these guys, if I redshirt them by their senior year, I believe they should be around a 90. High 80s, low 90s. Some of these positions, a 66 D end, he might be starting for me next year. And the only gem I found was the strong safety here, who was a 70. He went up five points, so he's a gem. Booth is the only one of the initial board I did not recruit. I usually throw 20. I accidentally threw 21, so there's one guy I couldn't scout. And in here, I have some of like the Spark 100 players. I started off just by going whoever had the biggest bonus, who was more likely to stick on our board and maybe want to come here. I want to be on there. I have the NA on there. I want to be in their top 10 or wherever I'm going to end up just by having them on my board. And I can figure out from there if I'm going to have a chance of getting them early instead of just waiting a couple weeks for the low lock people. Probably half of these players are going to be gone just by next week, but at least they're there. All right, so next, I'm going to try something a little weird with my red shirts. And it's to start with our buddy Mason Fine here, who is an 84 overall senior. But he's not really going to help me this year. The difference here, literally, you can see it right down here on the screen. Most of his statistics are right in line with the 73 overall freshman. But the awareness, he's got a 90 and the freshman only has a 55. So I'm going to red shirt Fine, because he's not going to get drafted. But I'm going to start the freshman instead this year. And basically, all I'm trying to do... I'm going to see if Fine goes up a few points by being redshirted. Maybe he'll want to be drafted next year. That'll help out our pro potential and help us, you know, for a pitch later on. I'm just going to try it. I'm also going to redshirt this guy, too. A couple of these guys I didn't even fix. So now I've got a speed back who's got 73 speed. So my center is my only good offensive lineman. The fact it's a 59. That's what I mean. These 66 overalls. Even if that 59 overall center for some reason goes up the maximum, what is it, 7 points? He's still going to be worse than a 66 overall freshman. Oh, the big thing I'm going to do, my kicker is terrible, so I'm just going to have my punter to handle all the kicking duties. And now for the custom schedule, Oklahoma, Georgia, uh, no. I'm trying to establish this team as the king of Texas. In order to become the kings of Texas, I have to take on Texas. I've got a solid month stretch here where I can schedule some early visits and try and get them to commit before they even visit another school. 
So we'll start off against Tulane. Actually, I don't know if I like that. That's too much green for a game. Hold on. Let's take on UMass. Texas and Kansas. So eventually what I want to do is get into the Big 12, but we might end up having to go back to Conference USA next year. I want to get comfortable where we're actually like comfortably winning our conference games before I want to move on to the next conference. Like that's kind of the standard I want to hold myself to. Even if we win the conference this year and we dominate all our opponents, I'm only playing on all pro. So it kind of can't really count. So I'll just sim forward, check on the recruiting, and then we'll get into our first game. Let's see how the recruiting board shaped up. So what I'm looking at right here is how much am I losing? So I fell 555 points back. I can only offer him 500 points. So we're probably not getting him. All right, week two recruiting, let's see. All right, Baylor. Yeah, looks like we're not getting the safety. Rice is somehow catching up. Oh, I didn't offer this guy a scholarship. Oh, uh, I probably should have done that. Yeah, I never went through and offered people scholarships. That'll be my downfall, I think. Damn, we lost 495 points on this guy. Even going all out on him. That's probably not good. Oh, wait. I'm reading the wrong column. Let me try that again. Damn, Texas Tech is desperate. They're offering a 61 overall guard of scholarship? I thought Texas Tech was big time. I guess not. We're getting no bonus points for him, and he's going to lock us out after like a week probably, but I'll try it. 96 throw power. All right, so I'm just going to take the 500 from you. You're probably going to lock us out anyways. I'm going after Bill Mitchell here for our quarterback. I really need a kicker, guys. <laughs> I need a kicker. All right, so I got Bill Mitchell here at the top of the board. I went through offered scholarships to all these guys, so hopefully that helps out. So for now, this is what the board's shaping up to. I'm happy with it for right now. I've still got some room to go. I got a couple open spots. I'll take care of that after. Yeah, my preferred playbook is just the default spread. Most of my running is going to be the audible halfback dive. My top player is a red-shirted quarterback right now. Good to know. I do love these little hype videos because everyone else has this, like, years of history and stuff like that, and you play a team like this. It's like, yeah, we're that team who's usually at the bottom. We were at the bottom of the Sun Belt, but we got promoted to the bottom of Conference USA now. And I'm going to sim the kickoffs because I'm garbage at defending them, and I feel like the computer actually does better. And full disclosure, I usually play defensive line, but that's not as interesting to watch, so I'm actually going to take linebackers this time. Ooh, good defense. Good defense. I also don't know if the spy is at all necessary. No, it is. Okay. Ooh, actually, before I forget, because I already did. Conservative big hits. Catching conservative, because I don't know if they're any good at catching, actually. So my center is good, and I think it's my left tackle that's good. But I'm going to run it this way. Oh, yeah, those blocks just instantly vanished. Nope. Aw, oh, dang it. Come seriously, my first pass attempt? Ugh. I knew I forced that, but I figured on all pro they wouldn't be as good at... Uh, I guess I didn't modify the sliders, so maybe that's why. Defense, can you stop him again? Because I suck. I don't think their kicker is any good either. So, it, it, oh, 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 okay. All right, I don't know what just happened there, but the celebration animation just uh, had an argument with the physics engine, and the physics engine won. Oh, no, I bit on that. Oh. I guess he can run the ball a little bit. But I don't understand. We blitzed to that side. They... Okay. Can we get a pick? Can we? No. So I'm not good at playing zone. It's not that my team is terrible at it. It's that I'm not good at it. This isn't going to go well. Get him. Ah. All right, let's try to not throw an interception this time and waste a good defensive stand. There we go. We got some blocks. Oh, oh. It's funny looking at all the rosters, though. Like, the way they modified all these guys. Oh, that's not the round I wanted. And it's like, they got 75 speed, but then, like, 92 agility. Good catch, Bussy. There. That makes me feel better. Austin, uh, on? Ain? Ani? Ane? Austin Ane, redeeming himself. Oh, well. Uh. 
Three yards is three yards, I'll take it. And the first quarter, we're down seven zip because I did that. Bussy wide open across the middle. Oh, I think they know what I'm doing. All right, fine. They didn't realize I really, really like throwing to my tight end. And now hopefully the defense will be in a better situation. Maybe we can get another stop. UTSA going to 2-0. It's not looking good for our division or our conference. Oh. I meant to sim this. Let's see how it goes. Is he going to run that out? He shouldn't. No, okay. I'll take a touchback. Is that... Oh, no. He got just past the line of scrimmage, so it's not a sack. It's all right. Still zero yards. I'll take it. You have me on... Uh, nope. I'm going to take Murphy. I don't want to defend the... Oh, God. That was a pick. Was it? Oh, God. Uh, thank you, Gaddy. That was a pick play. Throw the flag. Uh, I guess now we try the screen play. It's early in the season. I just got to figure out what we're good at. Nice. We, oh, oh! We originally made a miss. Since we're already down here, let's try counterplay and see if that works. Bounce it to the outside and in for the rushing touchdown. Oh, this feels so much nicer, you guys. Like seriously, I actually went six games deep into the other, uh, my other attempt at playing this, and him with 78 speed. Whew. You ain't making that run ever. I could never even run a counterplay. I get hit in the backfield every time. All right. Why are we underneath the stands? What is happening here? All right, guys. We really need to... If we can buckle down, get another score here, we can actually be looking in real good shape. If we can make a tackle. It's UMass. They're not very good. We're not good either, but we're actually better than them. So we need to dominate these kind of games. We got Texas next week. So if we can't take care of UMass easily, then we don't stand a chance. Good run, D. And that's... A, oh, that was already third down. I mean, I'm okay if we end up having the Super Sim part of this game because we just have a blowout victory going. Because this episode's already pretty long. Oh, come on, guys. Now I'm starting to feel bad. All right, I don't want to get greedy here. I just don't want to let them score. If we get the ball back with enough time, that's great, but that's not the objective. I just want to stop them from scoring. This is a run, isn't it? Yep, I got... See, I look at it this way. I got stuffed on a block on my way out there, but that cleared up a block for someone else to come up and make the tackle. So I feel like I contributed by... No? Yeah, no, I just... I just like to pretend, you know? Gotcha. I stayed in my zone this time. I learned my lesson. We could turn this into a blowout real quick right here. Give me that all day. Not gonna call a timeout. I still want to bleed some of this clock out if I can. One interception. Have not thrown an incompletion since. I don't know if anyone's getting open on this. No. Nope. Shoot. Didn't see him coming. Now we'll take a timeout. So if you audible into this, sometimes it throws them off and they don't cover the receiver across the middle. Yeah. Oh, shoot. I angled that wrong. I should have let him up instead of... Yeah, well... I don't know if we can make this field goal. We're gonna find out together, I guess. Oh, ho, 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 ho. barely doinked it. Okay, so 45. 40, 45 is our limit, not 46. All right, so 21-7 at the half. Outside of a couple of mistakes, we're dominating pretty well right now. I'm actually gonna go ahead and uh, choose some clock here. Oh, he read that one perfectly. Dang it.
That was only three yards? I don't, for some reason I thought it was deeper down there. I'm gonna choose some clock and then make a terrible call on first down and that's it. Thank you for leaving Smith wide open. That's all I needed. All right, let's try running the ball again. Nope. Oh, well, technically, okay, now I'm down. It is funny with the game, your knee has to go down before you're considered down. So even if you land on your back sometimes, it won't count you as. And like I was laying on top of someone, so it would actually sometimes let me stand up and keep going. That was, yep, that was, I was looking at the blitz and not actually looking at what was coming. And now this is where, this is how Shane chokes away the game. Alright defense, we've done a pretty good job holding him. Except for, you know, the last time I threw an interception. It's like they go across the 50 and they get this confidence and they're like, yeah, we can't be stopped. But if off like a punt return or something or a kick return, they're just like, no, we can't do anything. I know they're going to want to run it, but I'm a, I am petrified to blitz. So I don't know if my secondary can be trusted out there. Also, because you get the garbage animation where he sort of rolls forward for that yard, even though we stopped him. Our defensive line is straight up trash. And they're not even young. Like, my linebackers are trash, but they're all like 68 overall freshmen. My defensive line is like 67 overall freaking juniors. Like, they're not even going to be good at any point. So I'm salivating. Oh my god, a 64 overall freshman defensive tackle? I'll take it. I have noticed on these higher difficulties, it's very uncommon for the quarterback to like, be off his mark. They always have, like, these ridiculously high completion percentages. And they'll even have that, like I said, even at 70-40 sliders or whatever. Oh, there's one. Well, he dropped something, finally. It's fourth and seven, so I doubt they're gonna run it. There we go. Okay, yep. Good job, defense. Thanks for bailing me out again. You know, I just, I really want to get the running game going. I'm going to try a toss. I want to run the ball and choose some clock and take the pressure off of Ani. On A. On... But then you got that. Ah, dang it. Now I'm down for a sec. And this game just turned into a rock fight. Ah, didn't get any power on that. Ooh, I kicked that right out of bounds. I am very bad at angling punts in this game. Kicks I'm okay at, but punts I just can't do it. Oh yeah, they're 100% running this. I went the wrong way though. Another draw play. They're not working, guys. Well, we got in the backfield. The only problem is they're not going to take a field goal right now. They're 100% going to go for touchdowns every time. Wow. What, how did he get in the backfield that quick? Why couldn't you have done that the whole game instead of letting him run for 73 yards? I think now he's down to 66. I don't know what this play is. Looks a little weird. Everyone is going to play coverage. Oh, come on, Muhammad. Eight tackles by my safety. Jesus. Says, don't let him score a touchdown. Perfect. All right, guys, let's salt this one away. There's a running game. Good blocking. All right, so because their best defensive player is the cornerback over there, maybe we are just better off running it to the left. Yeah, we stood back up. We actually ran for a couple more yards. <laughs> we went from not being able to run it to now he's almost at 100 yards already. They are out of timeouts now, so pretty much should be good from here. Yep, there's our 100 yards. 82, because uh, of the sacks, that's right. Ah, oh, there's no halfback? 
I think they're gonna know that we're passing it. And it doesn't matter, because you're gonna let Alberting up the middle. Yeah, I'm gonna get greedy. I just wanna pad some stats, if anything. That was a terrible idea. I hit the wrong button. But I still completed it anyway, so... This year, I have two... I have two linemen named Moe's. Okay. That wraps up week one. 28-7 victory. I'll take it. Should have won by more, but... That's still a dominant performance. Next week's gonna be a bigger test, though. We're gonna really see where we stand. I don't think we're gonna beat Texas next week. But I'm hoping we can be competitive. I'd like to not get blown out by, you know, 45 points. If we can just keep it within, like... Honestly, two touchdowns. If we can just... If we only lose by two touchdowns, I'll be happy with that. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to hit the like button down below. If you want to see more of what I do, hopefully I should have this going up at the same time as a Madden QB1 career. So there should be a couple of videos for you guys to check out. So go to the channel, hit subscribe if you want to see how this continues. And in the future, I got, I'm not just going to do football. I'll be doing other sports too. It'll be a good time. I promise you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.